and welcome to ICTV English News. I'm Subala Kangabam. Let's see the top stories first. 24-hour general strike called by UCM, AMUKO and CCSK paralyzes normal life in state. Army captain involved in alleged killing three PLA cadres in fake encounters recommended for gallantry award. And driver of MLA Yam Thong Hao Kip, Thok Chon Diamond, produced at special NIA court, remanded to three-day custody. And now the news in detail. The 24 hours general strike imposed by Joint Committee of AMUKO, UCM and CCSK against the threat to state's territory by the peace talk between Centre and NSC and IM remains peaceful. The general strike has been supported by different organisations. Normal life in the state has been affected by the general strike. Kwarambant Market, Thangal Market, Pauna Market and shops along BT Road remain closed. Petrol pumps and movie theatres remained closed too. Interstate and inter-district passenger services stayed off the road due to the general strike. Moreover, there are no reports of any unwanted incidents during the general strike. Security measures have been beefed up in Imphal. In solidarity to the general strike, residents of Singjamai Chingamaka blocked the road. Vehicles, including ambulance, were not allowed to cross the area. Singjamai Oinam Thingel and Sapam Mil Mairapaibi Loop also blocked Indo Burma Road at Singjamai area. Meanwhile, Herangoi Thong Bazaar Area Women Welfare Association blocked road at Herangoi Thong area in support of the general strike. Women, folk and youths of Bamon Kampu and Wangkai blocked passage of commuters in support of the general strike. Kongpal Students Club and Porompat Khetri Lekai Development Committee also blocked road at Kongpal Iran Pam Thongkong in support of the general strike. Lilong Tajeng Kaithil Mayapai B, Lilong Young Social Service Women and SYDA Club, Lilong Shantipur supported the 24-hour general strike and blocked road at Lilong Bridge. Women and youth stopped all kinds of vehicular movement along Oripo Kangchub Road and Juri Road in Imphal West. Protesters also blocked road at Thawal Bridge, Yadipok Bridge and Wangjing Bridge in Thawal District in support of the 24-hour general strike. Thawal Market, Yadipok Market and Wangjing Market also remained closed due to the general strike. And on the other hand, normal life has been greatly affected in Jiribam due to the general strike. Bun supporters burned tires on the road and blocked the passage of commuters. Police are on strict vigil at different areas to avoid any untoward incidents. Similar impact of general strike was also seen along Tidim Road. Nambol Market, Oina Market, Kaino Market were closed for the day. Women and youths took the street and blocked the road in solidarity to the general strike. Markets located at Vishnupur, Ningtaukong, Moirang and Pogakchau Ikai remained shut. Strike supporters blocked roads at these areas. Volunteers of United Club Torbung Maira Paibi also halted traffic movement at Torbung Market. The general strike has crippled normal life in Kumbi constituency too. Kumbi Market remained closed. Members of Kumbi Apunbanupi Loop and women vendors of Kumbi Market blocked the road at Kumbi Market. The general strike also badly affected Sugnu Market and its adjoining areas. Meanwhile, volunteers of Sugnu Apunbanupi Loop intercepted a person who was found carrying liquor in a rickshaw at Sugnu Bazaar. An army captain who led a team involved in the alleged fake encounters of three PLA cadres who were found at Karbi along in Assam in, in March 2010 has been selected for gallantry award. Addressing a press meet held at the Jupiter Yambim Center, Pongna Market, former member of Manipur Human Rights Commission and advisor of Kaunglai Kanbalup, Yambim Lava stated that Parents of Fijam Naubi from Thamiban, R.K. Ronel from Sagolban Sayang Pukrimapal and T.H. Prem Elias Roman from Langol Laimanai filed a complaint of kidnapping them by army at Dimapur police in March 2010. Some days later, their dead bodies were found at Karbialong, but army washed their hands in the case and gave clean chid to three corps. Captain Rubina Korkid 
of uh, three corps based at Rang Pahar, who took active role in counterinsurgency, was recommended for Sena Medal. However, Lieutenant Colonel Dharambir, who was recently kidnapped, mentioned about the ordeal in his affidavit submitted to the High Court of Manipur that the three PLA cadres were killed in the officer mess of the army base. Yambim further re revealed that commanding officer of 12 Assam Rifles, Tignopal, was also involved in the cold-blooded killing. Sridharan Rahim Nupas na maase Rabina ko Rahim Nupas hai maana hard ki bani maana Lusinga ko maana interior hard ki bani hai hard ki matung da galentri medal sena medal bibi ho hai na recommend toro bani hai hard aidi arud nuche they can be no denial that they do not kill these three bani puri boys hard ki na hard bani hai with the cold weather killing the moment toro sir Nuri the general amazing sir he was. Brigadier General Staff of Three Corps at that time, and right now he is sitting as General Commanding Officer, Eastern Command General, Lieutenant General, basing in the He is sitting there. Maybe he thought my career is so like a drainer, my instructor, my car, I thought, 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 A team of NIA today produced the driver of MLA Yamtong Haukip of Psycho Constituency. Thokchom Diamond from Kwakatil Mayai Koibi at the Special Court of NIA Chairab Court. Thokchom Diamond was arrested yesterday by the NIA team a day after recovering five guns, cash and gold during a raid at the MLA's quarters on June 30 in connection with the missing of arms from 2nd MR Arms Court. Thokchom Diamond was given a three-day remand in NIA custody. Mention may be made that NIA had registered a case against Congress MLA Yam Thong Haukip of Psycho Constituency. However, he has been admitted at Sky Hospital as his health deteriorates. It is also worth mentioning that 56 9mm pistols and 58 magazines were found missing from the Rams Court of 2nd MR and the government of Manipur handed over the case to the NIA. And before we move on, let's take a short commercial break. We will be right back. Stay tuned. Nati chat lageba. Please, I chat lageba. Target case is in the low equity. Adudima. I'm going to love you. I shouldn't own up. Bengal is in the chat cover. Adun Haina. In case Bengal is in the low equity. Adun Pangaro. Come here. A magic mix of chocolate and vanilla marble cakes from Winkies, the cake specialist. I think they are going to get us. Indeed, indeed. I think they are going to finish us. Mm. I think we should run. At once. Winky's Swiss roll. Yam Turabo, Punshibu, Winky Samtadi Piyudana. Winkies, mini Swiss roll and bulak laba. Pum nama, slow mas and adum oi. Pun sibu, winkies am tadi piu dana. I think we should run. At once. Winkies, Swiss roll. Yam turabo, pun sibu, winkies am tadi piu dana. Nati chat lagi ba. Please, I chat lagi ba. Election ni matam lo kerbadi. Adu tu maamu unam thangaro. Asum tau na, mango si jana chat rabada. Adum hai na, winkies mango, Swiss rolls. Adum thangaro, thangi dana. Winkies, mini Swiss roll lambu lak laba. Pum nama, slow mas han adum oi. Pun sibu, winkies am tadi piu dana. Welcome back and moving on. General Secretary of All Manipur Muslim Student Organization, Pusham Javed, has warned of halting the admission process of DM University if the authority concerned does not initiate a befitting step in regard with the non-selection of 27 OBC Maitai Pangal in the entrance test of the university held on 2nd of last month. Addressing media person at the office of the organization at Hatta today, Javed asserted that the result of the entrance test was declared on July 11. 
However, the merit list of the test was not released. He intimated that the merit list was then released on July 31 following an agitation by students of DM Arts. David expressed suspicion if there were misconducts and irregularities involved in the selection by the authority concerned, as the otherwise reserved seats of 27 OBC Maitai Pangal are excluded in the list. The General Secretary warned of halting the admission process if the same is not clarified within two days. <laughs> The seven-day training program on scientific method of beekeeping has concluded yesterday. Channel district has been selected among the backward districts of the country by Niti Ayok Government of India with an aim to increase double-time salary of farmers. The training program was organized by Integrated Beekeeping Development Center Project at Christine Village and Dapao Village in Chandal District under the supervision of Vice Chancellor of Central Agricultural University Imphal from July 16 to 22. At least 25 persons of Christine Village were given the training on scientific method of beekeeping. The second phase of the training program, which began on July 25, has concluded yesterday. Many experts explained in detail on the scientific method of beekeeping and how to increase the economy through beekeeping. ADC member S.H. Mangling Mongsang, Chief of Jafo Village, my partner Mongsang, Assistant Chief of Jafo Village, W. Hema Singh Mongsang, and Vice President of Haumi Research Guild, S. Robin, were the many guests at the training program. Principal Investigator of Integrated Beekeeping Development Center Project, Dr. Kumukcham Ibohal spoke in detail about honey extracted from honeycomb, bee wax, royal jelly, etc. Certificates were distributed to the trainees at the training program. Some places in the areas within Palace compound have become dumping sites for many. The previous government and now the BJP-led coalition have always made efforts to develop Palace compound as a state cultural complex. The area near the main gate of Tandrakriti Auditorium has become a dumping site where some people throw garbage in an unhesitated manner. It is not only causing inconveniences to the commuters but also creating a bad impression to the visitors at the auditorium. The authority of the auditorium has hired cleaners to clear the garbage at present. A 19-year-old boy has been missing after he fell from a boat while crossing the river near Lafupa Tera. The boy has been identified as Ningtaujam Rohit, son of Ningtaujam Mai Park of Lafupa Tera. A team of Manipur Fire Service and Disaster Rapid Action Force are in full swing in search of the missing boy. The boy is presently a student of Shining School Moidangpok studying in Class 11. Reformist students front along with Kwakaitil Nganapitong Maira Paiwi last night took out torch position in protest against the indifferent attitude of the government towards the issue of framework agreement, border pillar and BCAP funding. The procession took rounds in Kwakaitil area as participants shouted various slogans. Felicitation program of senior citizens of Kumbi constituency was held at Terakong Makalekai Community Hall. The felicitation program was held for the second time organized by Terakong Youth Development Sporting Association. Emily of Kumbi constituency S. Bira, Jila Parisad member of Wangu Borayangbi Gram Panchayat M. Brojen, Pradhan of Terakong Gram Panchayat P. Baleswar, Upa Pradhan L. Binot and former headmaster of Kumbi Government High School A. Nimai were the men guests at the felicitation program. Floral tributes were offered to the photographs of the late elders. MLA Esbira said, It is a must to look after the elders with love and care, and in return, certain changes will be seen in the youths. <laughs> Must 
As part of the efforts of the Socialist Students Union of Manipur to promote education, the union handed over two water filters to the authority of the Saiton Government High School. Speaking at the water filter handing over function, Vice President of the Union, S. Yaima said, it seems that the government is not paying much attention to improve the condition of government schools. The union will extend all possible support to government schools in whatever way possible. And in the national news, former Assam Chief Minister Tarun Gogoi said the Congress cannot disown the National Register of Citizens, but the final list is full of mistakes. The whole purpose was to see how many foreigners are identified and genuine Indian citizens, irrespective of their religions, their names should be in the NRC. That was the whole idea. We cannot disown it. But our case is that the way it has been prepared, the way the final list was published, it is full of mistakes. It is not foolproof. There is a big leakage, as a result of which 40 lakh people have been put in uncertainty, creating a sense of insecurity. 40 lakh is not a small number. We want it to be fully corrected. Because of the BJP government's short-sighted politics, they are creating all sorts of problems. Ask what would happen to the voting rights of those Assam's residents who don't find their names on the National Register of Citizens? The government's stand has been that it's up to the Election Commission to take a call on it once the NRC process is over. For Chief Election Commissioner O.P. Rawat has said that the electoral role is governed by a separate law and exclusion from the final NRC would not mean automatic removal from Assam's voters list. And before we wind up the top stories once again. 24-hour general strike called by UCM, Amoko and CCSK paralyzes normal life in state. Army captain involved in alleged killing three PLA cadres in fake encounters recommended for gallantry award. And driver of MLA Yamthong Hokib, Okchom Diamond produced at special NIA court, remanded to three-day custody. Thank you so much for joining with us and good night.